Hi, welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Outliner Editor. The Outliner Editor is an immensely valuable aid to locating, displaying, and controlling the various elements of your Blender model. It is especially important as your model becomes more complex and more detailed. To demonstrate the Outliner Editor, I have opened up a model created by one of my students of a pair of tennis shoes. By default, the Outliner Editor is located in the upper right corner of the Blender display. I'll open it up a bit so that you can see it better. The Outliner Editor lists all of the objects located in your Blender scene. You can see that it's important to name each of your objects so that you can easily locate them. I will Z-key into wireframe display mode. You can select any of your objects by simply left-clicking on the object's name in the Outliner panel. Notice that each object has a small plus sign to the left of the object's name. Here I will select the front plate object and I'll zoom in a bit in the 3D viewport. Then I'll click the plus sign to the left of the object name. This displays the elements that comprise the front plate object. The front plate was created from a primitive plane mesh. If I click on the plane mesh name, plane.007, it places the mesh in edit mode. I can place my cursor inside the 3D display viewport and box select the vertices. Or I can press the A key and select all of the vertices and edit the mesh. I will click on the plus sign to the left of the mesh name. Here it indicates that a material named front plate has been applied to the object. If I click on the plus sign to the left of the material name, it indicates that the material contains a texture called Tex.014. If I click on the plus sign to the left of the texture name, it indicates that this texture is an image file named crosshatch2.jpg. If I select the Materials Context button in the Properties Editor below the Outliner window, I can see and most importantly, I can edit the front plate material. If I select the Texture Context button in the Properties Editor, I can see and edit the crosshatch2.jpg image texture. The Outliner Editor also indicates that this object contains a modifier, indicated by this wrench icon. If I click on the plus sign to the left of the modifier, it indicates that a subsurf modifier has been applied to this object. If I select the Modifiers Context button in the Properties Editor below the Outliner Editor, I can see and edit that subsurf modifier. The Outliner Editor contains a number of other controls. To the right of each object name are three icons, an eye, an arrow, and a camera. If I click on the eye icon to the right of the front plate object name, the object is not displayed in the 3D viewport, indicated by a closed eye icon. I will click on the icon again to display the object. If I click on the arrow icon, it will prevent the object from being selected in the 3D viewport. This is a handy tool when you want to make sure that a particular object is not selected accidentally. I'll click on the arrow icon again to make it selectable in the 3D viewport. If I click on the camera icon, it will prevent the object from being rendered. Here I will press the F12 and render the scene. Note that the front plate object is not rendered. I'll click on the front plate object camera icon again to allow the object to be rendered, and press F12 and re-render the scene. Notice that the front plate object is now rendered. It's also possible to filter the display of objects in the Outliner Editor by clicking on the All Scenes drop-down box at the top of the editor and selecting one of the many display options. Here, in the 3D Editor, 
I'll select the shoebox and the shoebox top objects. Then I'll click on the All Scenes drop-down box and choose Selected. This displays only the shoebox and the shoebox top objects in the Outliner Editor. As you can see, naming your objects and materials and locating them in the Outliner panel provides an exceptionally efficient method for accessing, editing, and controlling the objects in your Blender model.